Hi, I'm Lisa Crosby and this video is all about the Praise app in Microsoft Teams. You're going to learn how to use it, you are going to learn how to create your own custom badges in it and at the end of this I want you to go away and use it and praise someone in your team. Today, do it! It's an awesome thing to do, you will make someone's day. Just give them a bit of recognition. <laughs> The Praise app is already in Teams. It's a default app uh, provided by Microsoft and you can use it to send praise in a channel to one or more people if you want to put out something as public recognition or in the chat if you just want to send it privately again to one or more people. So you'll find it, there's a little praise icon there, we'll zoom in so it's a bit easier to see, you just click on that. If you're not seeing that then just go across to the little extensions button here, the ellipsis at the end and type in praise and you will find it there. You can click on it and you're good to go. So we'll click on our icon and this will bring up the list of standard praise buttons uh, that we can get started with. I'm going to choose the awesome one here. I'm going to show you in a minute how we can create our own badges as well. But for now, let's get started with the awesome one because, you know, rainbow unicorn, why not, right? <laughs> we can type in the name of one or more people here. So if you wanted to praise a group of people together for the same thing, you can do that. And then please, please take a moment to put in that um, personalized note specific praise, personalized praise is so much more powerful than just a generic one. So totally worth spending the extra couple of minutes to do that, to say what you're praising the person for. Preview, send, boom, done. I'm using this in the context of a uh, response to a thread. You can start it as a new conversation and you'll see there that it automatically tags the person or people who I've sent the praise to. Let's have a look at what this looks like in a chat now if I wanted to send praise to somebody personally and again you can do this in a chat with one person or a group chat if you wanted to uh, praise a whole bunch of people together for something they've done together. So we just again grab that praise app using the icon or searching for it and this time I am going to send the achiever badge to Alex um, for an awesome sales result last quarter preview and done. So that will just go straight through to Alex in the chat um, and you can, you know, reply to that and, and so on. So just, you know, just livens things up a bit. Let's take a look now at how we can create custom badges, which happens in the Teams Admin Center. You will obviously need to be a Teams admin to be able to do this. Uh, so we're going to go into Teams apps, manage apps, and then we're just going to search by name for the Praise app over on the side here. Click through on that when it comes up. And then we're going to have a look at the settings for the app. And the first thing I'm going to do is toggle the switch on to enable the social and emotional learning badges. So this is another set of 12 standard badges designed for education. I don't know, I reckon some of these work pretty well in a workplace as well. Depends on your organization though, I suppose. So you can switch those on or not. And then I'm going to create a custom badge and this page from the Microsoft Docs takes you through the requirements there of the image, needs to be a PNG, the size, and shows you when you choose your text color, name, and background color where those things will end up. I'm going to create a badge here that's like a like a badge based on the um, certification badge, you know, when, you, when you've when you passed your M365 fundamentals, uh, we're going to use that as a praise. I'm going to put my text and background colors in there. You'll notice you do need to know the hex codes for your colors. Localized badge names allows you to have different names uh, in different languages if you need to do that for your badge. I'll scroll down there. Beautiful. There it is. Submit. Now it'll give you a warning here to say that it can take a few hours to come through. In my experience running this, it took about 10 minutes, but just don't freak out if it's not there straight away. Also on the documentations page, you'll see all of the default badges assets. You can access those PNG image files and the colors and so on. It's because you can't customize the standard badges, but you've got all those assets there if you want to create a custom version for yourself with perhaps some different wording or color schemes or whatever there. So let's have a look at these ones in action. I'm simulating one here that might be a classroom situation. We'll pick the persistence badge and send that to a student. So this is an example. Lots of people using Teams in an education context. We could send 
public praise um, to a student or group of students or again privately to that student. I think this is awesome for kids but I mean honestly don't underestimate how awesome it is for grown-ups as well. So there's an example of something that can work in an education context. And now let's go back and have a look at my custom badge. So we'll jump back into, uh, I'll just jump back into the sales team where I was working before, that'll do. We'll start a new conversation and then click on that praise badge icon again. And you'll see my custom badge comes up at the top of the list. And let's say we've got two people who've passed this certification today that we want to reward. So I'm gonna find Dan and Alison. And again, nice little message in there to reward them from what, for what they've done. And this is a good way of, you know, kind of putting out that announcement. We're going to preview and send. Now let's have a look from here at the experience from the point of view of the person on the receiving end of that, because we saw before that it tags those people. So I'm going to switch over my login here and I'm going to put on the hat of being Alison. So here we go. I'm now Alison. You can see I've been tagged and it also comes up in the notifications there. So you can see that Lisa mentioned me, Alison, <laughs> um, in, in those two things. And it gives me that notification so that I can uh, see when I've received praise. Take up the challenge. Please do it. Send someone some praise today. It's good fun. You'll make someone's day. It's just a, a lovely thing to do. And remember to be specific with your praise as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Heaps more tutorials on the channel here. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow along for more on Teams, Power Platform or Dynamics 365.